For the following exercises, find the limit. The limit as n approaches 2 of the natural log of n in this first example, uh, we can just use um, direct substitution to find the limit of this. That is because if you look at the argument from example 1, the argument is what's inside the log. When you take that and you set it equal to 0 and solve for the variable, this ends up being the vertical asymptote. So since this value of n is not approaching a vertical asymptote, we do not need to make a small table to tell whether or not this is going to positive or negative infinity. So we can just substitute this 2 directly in for the n to get our answer of the natural log of 2. Uh, example 2. The limit as p approaches 4 from the left of the natural log of e to the p power. Now if you'll remember that we, there's a property that states the natural log of e to some power is just equal to that power. So this net limit simplifies to the limit as p approaches 4 from the left of p. Well now we can just use direct substitution to take that 4 and put it right in for p to get 4. So 4 is your answer for the second example. Uh, in the third example, there is an argument a over square root of a minus 4 as a approaches 5. So again, with this, we are not approaching a vertical asymptote. So we can go ahead and use direct substitution in for a. That leaves you with the natural log of 5 over, uh, in the denominator if you take 5 and subtract 4, that leaves you with a 1, the square root of 1 is 1, which is simply the natural log of 5. Uh, in this last example, the domain for this last uh, natural log here is from negative infinity all the way until 6. You cannot include it. And if you set the argument equal to 0, 6 minus x equals 0, and you solve for x, you have a vertical asymptote at x equals 6. So this 6 to the negative tells us that we're going to approach 6 from the left, which is still part of the domain, but we are approaching a vertical asymptote. So what we need to do is we need to pick some values of 6, uh, sorry, some values that approach 6 from the left, like 5.9, 5.99, and see what those values are doing. Are they getting really big in the positive direction or really big in the negative direction? And with this table here, you can see that as x gets closer and closer and closer to 6 from the left, that these numbers keep getting more and more and more negative. So we can say for sure that this limit is going to equal negative infinity.